So let's start by creating a new canvas. I'm going to select the 1920 by 1080 canvas size under character animation and press the create button right here. I'm going to start up here on the timeline. I'm going to select the large size frames. I'll double click on layer one and I'm just going to call this pen. And then I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to hit command minus just to zoom out here. I'll hold down shift, draw a straight line going down. And then at the bottom, I'm just going to draw in a little circle. Let me zoom back in here and I'm just going to erase the excess. And the first pendulum I'm going to animate using a tween. So I'm going to select the entire drawing right here. I'll go up to modify and then convert to symbol. And I'll just call this pendulum and then I'll hit OK. And then when I go to the transform tool right here, I want to move the pivot point of the pendulum up to the top. Okay. So now I'm going to just move my cursor to the corner right here so that I have that circular arrow and I'm going to rotate up right here. And then I'm going to create a new layer and on layer two, I'm just going to call this guide. And I'll take my paintbrush right here and I'm just going to draw on a line like this. Now I want to figure out the timing, how fast the pendulum is going to swing. The pendulum that I'm thinking about is a small string with a marble on the end, right? So it's a small pendulum. It doesn't weigh very much. So the pendulum will probably be moving pretty fast, but I'm going to go in here and try out some timing and see if I can get the right speed. So I'm going to go to frame 41. I'll press F5, put it in a frame, and I'll do the same thing on the pen layer. On frame 41 on the pen layer, I'm going to press F6. So basically I want the pendulum to start and end in the exact same position. So halfway in between 1 and 41, we've got 21. And I'm going to put in a keyframe, so I'll press F6. And then I'm going to simply rotate this pendulum to the other side right here. And now what I can do is I can simply press return and I can feel the timing, okay? That's one swing, let's loop this. So I'm gonna take this, we'll do one to 40 because one and 41 are the same frame. So let's loop it. Right now, to me, the timing, the speed of the pendulum feels a little too slow. So I'm gonna move these keyframes down. Let's say we go to maybe 17. So we've got a keyframe on one, a keyframe on nine, and a keyframe on 17. I'll drag the range for my loop to 16. And I'll press return. So now it feels a little bit too fast. So again, I'm going to move these keyframes around and I'm going to try and find the right amount of time for the swing that I'm looking for. So I'm going to go from 1 to 25 and that means the halfway point will be at 13. Okay. All right, let's play this. So I'm watching this and this to me feels like the right speed. So I'll stop the animation. And I'm going to just select these frames over here. I don't need these, so I'm going to right click and go to remove frames. All right, so now let's put in a tween. So I can click anywhere between 1 and 13 on any of these frames. I can right click and go to create classic tween. And let's see, I'm going to go right in the middle here at 7. And I'll turn off my loop. What I want to see is I want to see the spacing, right? The computer is drawing all of the frames for us in between frame 1 and 13. Turn on the onion skin. Drag the range from 1 to 13. And here we can see that there is no slow in and no slow out. So the spacing for these drawings is totally even, right? Each time the drawing moves, it moves the same exact distance. So with this even spacing, we get a very robotic movement. It feels very unnatural. There's no slow in and no slow out. If I go to my properties tab and I make sure that the tween is selected, so I have to click somewhere on this arrow right here, I then have the option to modify 
the animation right here. So right now it's set to this even spacing. So whenever we see like the distance, this is gonna be the same between each drawing. This is what the graph looks like. As we move forward in time, the distance that the drawings move remains equal, okay? So now if I select ease in, out, right? That's the same as slow in and slow out. So now what we have is we're slowing into the movement. So we have a gradual increase in speed and then it goes fast through here and then we slow out. So we have a decrease in speed. So I'll double click on quad right here. And here you can see the change in the spacing. So now we're slowing into the movement, right? We're starting slow, we speed up, and then we slow down. So we have a slow in, slow out. And if you play the animation, you'll see a difference in the way that it moves. It just feels more natural. So let's do the same thing on the second part of the swing right here. So I'm on frame 19. As long as I click on any frame between 13 and 25, I can then right click and go to create classic tween. You can see the spacing right here is even. We go over here to classic ease, double click on ease in out, double click on quad, and there we have our slow into the movement and our slow out of the movement, right? So we'll go in here, I'll turn on the loop and you can see Looks great. So now we've animated the pendulum swinging back and forth using the computer to help us with the slow in, slow out. So now what we wanna do is we wanna gain a deeper understanding of how slow in, slow out works. And the way to fully understand this is to do this step-by-step -step without the computer. Once you have a full understanding of how slow in and slow out works, you can certainly use the computer there's also instances when the computer can't help you and you need to do it manually. So it's really good practice to know how to do this step by step. All right, so let's create a new layer. So I'll click right here. I'll double click on layer three. I'll call this pen two. And I'm gonna hide the first pendulum layer and I'll turn off my loop. I'll go to frame one right here. I'm gonna go to the library. I'll take the pendulum symbol right here. I'm going to move the pivot point up to the very top right here. And then I want to move the drawing up. So I'll rotate it. I'm going to place it like so. So on frame one, here we have a position. I'll go to frame 25. I'll press F6. So we're starting and ending in the same position. And then on frame 13, I'll press F6 and I'll make sure I have that circular arrow. I'll click and drag and swing to the other side. Okay, so now that I have my key positions, I'm gonna lock the pen to layer and I'm gonna switch over here to the guide layer. And I'm just gonna delete that line and I'm gonna draw in some new lines for my guide. So for this, I'm going to use the pencil tool and on frame one, I'll just hit Command Plus to zoom in here. I'm gonna draw in a line going this way. So this is the extreme on the left-hand side. The pendulum's not gonna go any higher than this line right here, okay? And then I'll go to frame 13 over here. This is the extreme on the right-hand side, right? So it's not gonna go any further than that. And then at 25, it goes back to the original position. So then we wanna just draw in a line somewhere here in the middle. And then I'll draw in a curve going like this and we sort of have our guide for the pendulum. I'm just gonna take my selection tool and I'll delete the excess on either side right here. And we can also delete the excess here, and here, and here. Okay, so starting on frame one over here, we are going to slow into this swing right here. We're gonna start slow. So we're slowing into the movement Right in the middle, the pendulum's gonna be traveling faster. And then as we reach the other extreme, on the right-hand side, we're going to slow out. So at this point, the pendulum stops and it starts to swing in the other direction. So then we'll slow into the second swing. We'll have a slow in right here. And that'll be going this way. 
And then over here, we will slow out of the movement right here. So that's what's happening with the pendulum. Let's label the numbers here. How do we divide this space? So first thing, I'm gonna take my eraser right here and just erase a little bit, make a little more space for our numbers as we fill this in. So I'll take my pencil tool. All right, so I'm just gonna zoom in here. So this is gonna be frame one right here. In the middle right here, if we go from one to 13, right in the middle, that's frame seven. So let's put in a seven right there. On the other end over here, the pendulum, this is frame 13, okay? So how do we figure out the frames in between, right? So if we're talking about at seven, this is the fastest part of the swing, we can work from the fast part towards the extreme in either direction and we can divide space and those frames will get closer and closer together. So let's go from seven to frame one. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in here, seven to one. So we'll divide the space in half right here and then this will be six, okay? So from six to seven, we have a really fast movement, so the spacing is further apart. We go from six to one, and we divide that space in half, and that is gonna be frame five, okay? We go from five to one, right? Have more frames as we go towards the extreme, so this will be frame four. So as you can see, the frames are getting closer and closer together. So we'll go from four to one. This will be frame three. We'll go from three to one, divide in half. And that'll be frame two. Okay, so here you can see, if we work from the center going back towards the extreme, and we keep dividing that space, the frames get closer and closer together, right? So now let's work from seven to 13. I'll hit Command Plus to zoom in right here. So we'll divide that space in half. This will be eight. Go from eight to 13. That'll be nine. Go from nine to 13, divide the space in half. That's 10. Divide the space in half, 11. And the last one right here, this will be 12. Okay, so then going in the other direction, I'm just going to actually just lasso this it's a little bit close. Let's move that down a little bit, make a little more space. I'll just switch to my paintbrush. It's a little bit easier to write these numbers with the paintbrush. And then over here, so we're starting at 13. It's gonna swing the other direction. So this is 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 is in the middle. Then we have 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and we're ending right here at 25, okay? So now we've mapped out the entire movement of our pendulum. All right, so now let's lock the guide layer and let's unlock the pen layer and let's work on that pen layer. Okay, so on frame one right here, I'm gonna take my selection tool, double click on that pendulum. And I'll take uh, my pencil right here. So I'll change my color here to red. I'm gonna draw in a little line right here. So now I'm gonna go from the pendulum symbol back to the scene level and I'll switch to my rotate tool right here and I'm gonna just click on frame one right here. I'll press F6 and I'll hit Command Plus to zoom in. And I'm just going to rotate and line up our drawing with frame two. I'll press F6 and I'll line this up with frame three. I'll press F6 and I'm gonna line this up with the position for frame four. I'll press F6, I'll line this up with position for frame five. And then I'm just gonna go in and line this up each time. I'll press F6, go to here to frame seven. 
press F6. We'll go to frame eight. Press F6. This is going to be frame nine right here. I'll press F6. Go to frame 10. Press F6. We'll go to frame 11. I'll press F6. We'll go to frame 12. 13 is already there. I'm just going to line this up right here. Okay. Make sure I have just one frame selected. If all of those frames are selected, it's going to put keyframes on all those frames. So I'm on frame 13. I'll press F6. We'll move to position 14. New keyframe. Position 15. New keyframe. 16. New keyframe. 17. New keyframe. 18. Go to 19. Just each time putting in a new keyframe. And then let's check here on frame 25. There we go. All right. So now that I've put in all these frames manually, I'm going to hide the guide layer and I'm just going to look at the pendulum layer right here. I'll turn on my looping option right here and I'm going to press return. And there we have our pendulum swinging with our slow in and slow out. Now what we can do is now that we've uh, lined everything up, I can double click on the pendulum here and I can delete this little red line. I can go from the pendulum symbol back to the scene level, zoom back out, play the animation, and we're all done. So make sure you save two copies of this file. First copy you're going to save to your documents folder and the second copy you're going to save to the Dropbox so that you receive credit for the assignment.